Guess we're going to do a Yui. So we're going back. Looks like we're 93 north. Yeah, we, uh, you know, of course, according to the computer, all we had was the census taken in 2010. And like you said, it said it had uh, 400 and some people. So, the town turned around, stopped at the what I thought looked like a, just a convenience store. Keith went in and said, where's the nearest restaurant? And they said, right here. So we went in, ordered some food, sat down and eat it. And they did not have a special, so we had to order off a menu, which is a bummer. We don't want to have to order off of a menu, because then we got to try to think of what the heck we want to eat. We'd rather just walk in and say, we want your special. At least as far as I know, most restaurants have a special of the day. A lot of people up here in Adamsville die. There's like four graveyards or so we've passed. No wonder they only got 400 some people left. <laughs> if you look at all the gravestones and everything we've passed, all the cemeteries they've had here by Adamsville. This place used to be a probably a thriving metropolis, but now it's just a little town of 400 people. <laughs> I guess everybody's dying to get out of Adamsville. Either that or they could be dying to come back home to Adamsville. Oh, and Keith had a uh, cheeseburger with the works. And an order of fried mushrooms. And we both had a chocolate milk. I also had an order of fried mushrooms and uh, for some strange reason I picked uh, chicken strips with barbecue sauce. Uh, I really don't care for chicken but when we went in the place it actually smelt like uh, Baker's IGA uh, fried chicken. And it kind of gave me the taste for chicken. I like IGA's fried chicken and I like Kentucky Fried Chicken's chicken. Other than that, I don't think much of chicken. But luckily on the uh, chicken strips, the breading was so dang thick that I didn't have to taste the chicken. <laughs> and our meal together, I paid for it, uh, come to a total of uh, $18. Seems like an awful price to pay for what we had, but hey, whatever. Of course, that's with a, a dollar extra because we used a uh, debit card. They charge an extra dollar if you do that, I guess, rather than pay cash. And I told Keith when we was uh, 
we was there eating, I told him, I said, you know, looking at the round at the little place and stuff, I said, probably be a smart thing if we start carrying some cash. Because I'm hoping they take a card because we have no cash. I think I might have six dollars cash. It's like we better next time we do this plan on taking some cash with us because you never know. We pull up a small town like that again. It could be such a thing that they say, well, we we don't take cards. And if they do, then we're in trouble. I told Keith from now on we're gonna have to take cash with us. I figure about $50. If, if two people can't eat $50 at a small hometown restaurant, then we're getting ripped off big time. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if I said it yet or not. Uh, the video I put up before this somewhere, I had a little pop quiz I was doing for what happened at work. You guys can go ahead and leave a comment, think what, see what you think happened. And uh, I went into the trailer, the uh, clubhouse, and Keith was ready to go. I told him, well, first I want to do this pop quiz. Of course, then he popped it out on me that we're going to do this random drawing on the A's, which is cool. But Keith did pass the uh, pop quiz with flying colors. He knew who called me, and he knew what they called about. So, uh, evidently Keith pays attention when I'm talking about work. Knows how they are. Now, uh, I figure somewhere around here we're going to all of a sudden switch to the other road. Hopefully it'll at least be a stop sign and a warning that we're going to turn. All right, that was a good trip, wasn't it, John? Yeah. Yeah, well, how was your food? Yeah. Uh, you'd set a thumbs down? Yeah. I thought the mushrooms were really good. Yeah, mushrooms were good. Yeah, yeah, I had a, my cheeseburger was pretty good. I I got a cheeseburger, John got, uh, what, uh, chicken fingers or Just some drips drip or something. Chicken. And uh, we both got mushrooms. And, uh, mushrooms were definitely, I'd say, the best part of the meal. Uh, so Keaton has picked out uh, next Tuesday's ride, which will be probably what six or seven Tuesdays from the day. <laughs> but uh, we're going to Bolivar next time. We're in the bees now, and we're going to Bolivar, Ohio. That's right. So uh, you yes. don't want to miss that. That's coming up next weekend, we believe. Any of you big fans of us know where Bolivar is. Yeah, yeah. Any of our big, big fans knows where the big, big town of Bolivar is. They want to meet up with us. Yeah. Now's your chance. Any big, big fans wants to meet up with us. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right there in Bolivar. Ohio, that is. And that'll be sometime next weekend, probably. No promises, but we'll uh, we'll, we'll do our best. Next weekend, Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday next weekend. All right. Well, let's get this show on the road. Uh, thanks for watching our uh, last series to Adamsville and back. And uh, well, I hope you enjoy the next series to Bolivar and back. Bye bye.